Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fisher with Flies. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to be tying up a phenomenal little caddis pattern. This is called the High Viz CDC caddis. If you don't have some in your box, you definitely want some. Tie them up. For the hook today, I'm using a Arex Freshwater 503 dry fly hook in size 14. You can obviously go smaller if you need. For the thread, I'm using Semperfly Nano Silk in 12 lot or 50 denier. For this fly, I'm going to go ahead and get started right behind the hook eye. And I'm going to go ahead and take a couple wraps. And then I'm actually going to start with my dubbing, which here is fine alpaca dub from Sabai, but you can use any dry fly or alpaca dubbing. I personally like this little mix of dubbing because it does have a tiny bit of flash in it. So it uh, just adds another variable to this fly that I think makes it super effective. So I'm actually going to reverse dub this fly. So you want a little bit of a thicker taper on the front end and thinner on the back. And you can see here I actually kind of didn't do a great job of tapering that, so I'm actually going to undo that real quick and then redub this. So on this fly, I actually don't like using wire. Uh, I just use thread to rib this body, which is why I'm using Semperfly Nano Silk because it's super strong. So you can see here, I definitely got a little bit better of a taper. So again, I'm just going to wipe or wrap that all the way back to the end. And then I'm going to rib my body all the way back to the head using the thread. For the wing, I'm using CDC. here, Swiss CDC and Khaki Campbell, but natural or done, whatever you have is fine and will work just as well. For this size 14, I'm using three CDC feathers. As you can see, I snipped out the tips just to make it a little bit more of a natural taper. On a size 16 or smaller, I really, you really only need to use two feathers. But again, on this 14, I'm using three just to get a better, bigger profile. I'm going to go ahead and secure it to the wing. And if you can add a little bit of dubbing beneath this wing where you tie it in or just tie it in over the wing, it actually allows you to secure that just a little bit better. And we'll keep it from rolling and spinning. Make sure you take a couple wraps in front of the feathers. This again will help it keep from spinning or rolling around the hook shank. For the hot spot on this, I'm just using a piece of two millimeter scrap foam. That's really all you need. The foam on this does help a little bit with floating, but it really just acts as a hot spot. I personally like to fish this fly as a second dry fly behind uh, a more buoyant fly. Usually, sometimes depending on where I'm fishing, if I'm fishing spring creeks or something like that where uh, only one fly is needed, then I'll fish this by itself, which again, it's nice with this little added hot spot for that purpose because you can see that little orange hot spot from quite a distance. So here you have it again. This is the high viz CDC caddis. Super effective. Tie them up. Let me know what you think.